Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of WumpaCast, the special podcast for the Wumpa Classic Championship. Today we are joined by a few guest commentators. So going down the list, we have MTB himself, Marcus Terry Bedford. Yep. We have Mr. Game Sendy. He is not competing, right. but he is here as a spectator. Hi everyone. Also because we love him. Ah, Dante, you're too kind. From the GRA server, we have the Electric Paradox, Caitlin. <laughs> it's me, Milk Lady. And we have my real life friend and newcomer to the scene, Smudger. Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to hop straight into it. Uh, we are about a week into the tournament and we have 10 races officially up on the YouTube channel. Uh, technically 11, but a little bit more on that later. So first of all, Group A. This is the group with Toto Zigum, Crash 41596, Dark Lizard, Crosstown Express, and Smudgy himself. So, hey. Smudgy, you are in this group. What are your thoughts on it so far? Um, well, I guess it's kind of hard because it's only been one race. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. Like from what I've heard, everyone else in my group is super good. So I'm looking forward to some general hard competition. Do you see yourself making it into round two or? Oh no, of course not. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. I'll give it a try. I'd say you have have a chance, depending on what races you do. But it depends entirely on that. So, mm. uh, Mr. Yeah. Game Cindy, what are your thoughts on this group? Group A, a very interesting group. Um, very interesting to see Crash Four One Five Nine Six back, who has had a big absence from these tournaments. It'd be very interesting to see how he runs in this group. Um, uh, last time I saw him doing Crash was back in I'm Super Runner Five, so it'd be interesting to see how good he is now. Obviously, I feel the biggest, uh, the most talented one on paper is Toto, seeing as he got to the final of the last tournament. Random Black, I was in a race of his the other day. He seems good, so this is a tough group to call. Actually, um, I think this is going to be a very interesting group to watch, and um, good luck to all the competitors. To Toto is probably going to top this group, but anything can really happen. So. I'm excited to see where this group stands going forward. Yeah. Uh, Marcus or Caitlin, do you, do you have anything else to add? I'd say pretty much the same. I know Toto is a very competitive speedrunner in the International Spyro Grand Prix, so I'm assuming pretty much the same here with the Wumper Classic Championship. Seeing as he got into the final last time, uh, I've got pretty high you know, confidence that he'd probably do it again, but we never know. There is time, yes. Yeah, no, uh, so far, only one race of that has gone up, but... There have been a few more recorded, and I just need to say, look forward to watching those. So, Absolutely, yeah. Moving on to Group B, we have Katote, or is it Ratchet 5, or is it Carbon Sushi, or is it the man of many names? Or is it Spyro R5, <laughs> or Time Travel Reviews? Or Andrew Carroll. <laughs> so many names. <laughs> Had to get that in there. Uh, we also have the Tunisian King TK, Yoga Monyo, Graveyard Magician, and originally Crash Bash Legend, but now he has dropped out of the tournament uh, due to reasons uh, involving pretty much not enjoying Crash as much as he thought he would. So he has now been replaced by Haytam14. I hope I pronounced that right. So does anyone have any uh, thoughts on this group so far? Well, pretty much. I mean, I think I watched the race earlier on and I, f I can't remember if it was actually this race. Was it TK versus Graveyard Magician? It like started out, they both like took different routes, so that was like made it really interesting. But I think like one started off faster and the other one, if I've got the like correct round, because I've watched so many. Yeah, Graveyard Magician is a newcomer to the scene, but he's been doing pretty good so far. Yeah, he seems to be like doing lots of erasers, so. I don't believe he has properly spoken on mic though, so his voice remains a mystery. Mr. Game Cindy, do you have anything else to add? Um, I'm. It's hard to know because I'm I'm unaware of like the newcomer and newcomers and um, TK. I I know Ratchet isn't too bad, so um like he could cross potentially do well. I think my boy TK could also do well, but it's very hard to predict at this stage because you know we don't we don't know. I said I don't know what skill level of the new new people are and Yoga Monio. so um I think like you know um probably Ratchet five and then I don't know outside of that. Yeah, no, that's fair. I could definitely see Ratchet and possibly Graveyard Magician making it to the next round, but that third yeah. spot is is a huge mystery so far, I would say. Absolutely. Like, it's up for grabs, I'd say. I, I think Graveyard Magician is silent but deadly. I can agree to that, yes. Consider he's also done two of his races, it seems to be, like, on it. 
so far three races from this group have technically been done uh three if you count morgan's race i'd say this is going to be another group where we've got some very exciting matches coming up i'm especially curious to see the uh katote versus tk rematch after their race in isgp2 oh yeah oh yeah that's gonna be a tasty fixture moving on to group c this is where we've got averso lucas bolton cool pro Zindictive, and the gangster so i just i just recently watched um averso and Zindictive, and averso doesn't seem like he's like he doesn't seem too bad Lucas, I know, is putting a good amount of effort into his matches. Uh, I back him to be a success. Zindictive, um, I wouldn't write him off just yet because he, he could have a bad few matches, but he could, he could, he could get that one win and uh, screw someone else getting out of the group. So, like, um, like you know, I definitely wouldn't write him off. Like, um, definitely think Lucas is one to watch. Actually, I know how much effort he's putting in. Averso got tier one in the seeds. So I think it's clear that he's probably going to make it to round two. But like you said, anything can happen. Uh, Smudgy, do you have anything else to add about this group? Uh, well, I know this is the one where they did the Crash Bandicoot 1 race, wasn't it, to get to Brio? They, I believe they did, yes. And, you know, anyone who wants to race in Crash 1, I know it's definitely pretty good. So, um, yeah. I would say I have a few things to say about Group C as well. Uh, like, yeah. all these races have seemed interesting. Like, for example, the Lucas. Lucas is also racing the Ice GP and he's also like done some fun like exhibition races against me as well. He's basically did the Crash Free race. They were pretty much even, but the gangster did not know like the skipping dingo dials, so Yeah. That that's definitely tur- turned over the whole result. The Zingdictive versus Averso. That race was uh, pretty much Zingdictive stuck on the lab half yeah. of the race but that was <laughs> quite en- entertaining to watch uh, with interesting results R.I.P. Luca yes I... R.I.P. Luca Luca was originally in this group um, yeah. but he had to drop out due to health concerns we'll say yeah we hope yeah. Yeah, we hope feel better soon Luca we'll just leave it at that but yeah get well soon okay so moving on to group D we have the Psychic Gamer Placey Hole Kieford De Acorn and Caitlin herself so, Caitlin, <laughs> this is your group. Is. What are your thoughts? Um, obviously, me and Keeper are going to smash it. Um, Naturally. Yeah, place one and two. Um, the decider is obviously me versus Keyford. Um, But, I mean, in all reality, I've, I've only raced against Placey Hall, but they seem very good and also very nice. Um, I know Psychic Gamer has played a ton of crash so i'm sure he'll do well as well and i'm not sure about the acorn but he has like messaged me about doing a load of really weird goals so i hope he gets through as well <laughs> more fun races i mean those weird goals could be his downfall we never know i think he's safe against me at least i'm just waiting for you to prove him wrong <laughs> i mean you never know i might get good at crash overnight I don't really know much about this group, but I have some. I've like uh, maybe seen a little bit of a psychic gamer versus Keyford match. Uh, also, a very interesting watch. I will uh, say that psychic gamer did get significant advantage in that run. Oh yeah, because psychic gamer actually got tier one in Crash Two seeds. This group hasn't had a lot of races done, all things considered. But what has been done uh, is pretty much all been done by psychic gamer. So. <laughs> I think it's going to be between Kieford and Cajun. They're going to smash the top two is theirs, and then Psychic Gamer is going to come in, come in behind them. I completely <laughs> agree. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds a good one. I hope it becomes reality. Kieford's going to avenge his um, ISGP group and make it to round two in this tournament. Okay, moving on to Group E. We have MTB, James Jones, Fromond, Tooney SA. And Vinnie Huber, I believe I pronounced that right. I hope so. So uh, let's just get the elephant out of the room. James Jones versus Fraser. Uh, they're going to make it to the grand finals. Yeah, I think we should just cancel the whole group. James Jones and Fraser. Their race has happened. Look forward to seeing that on the channel if you haven't seen it on Twitch. Marcus, this is your group. What are your thoughts? Well, I haven't I've done any races yet, obviously due to uh, mental health issues, but I am planning to do some races pretty soon. So... <laughs> I'm looking forward to racing, you know, James Jones, uh, Fraser, Tooney. Tooney again, another rematch with Tooney because I've just raced him in the ISGP. So that will be exciting. 
it will. So that'll like, be the theme of the group, I think. <laughs> I back Marcus to be success uh, behind James Jones and Fraser. Oh, thanks. Like, if Marcus tries his best, he should be able to beat James Jones and Fraser, but they are best competitors here, so mm. you can only hope. Got to push for it. You got to you gotta trust that slide spin. Marcus Devaney has a good shot of making it to the next round. I would like to see you there. Uh, I would like to race you in Twin Sanity Bingo. Oh, yes. I love that game. One of my favourites, Twin Sanity. It's a fantastic group. I think Tooney will be will laugh. And I think he could win a few matches. Oh, yes. If, if Tooney sticks around, then I can definitely see him making it to round two. But only barely beating James Jones or Fraser. Okay, moving on to the final group. We have Group F. That's Cola Pro, myself, Danta Fanta, Abdul, Dr. Monkey Man, and King DDD, also known as King Europe One. AKC Cal 125, aka Christian. Exactly. Another man of many names. Yes. So this has been a very active group, uh, mostly due to Abdul wanting to get his races out of the way. In fact, as of, as of the time of recording this, the only races that have yet to be done are all of Christian's. It's a shame because it's a shame because I think Christian is the one to watch at this tournament. He's gonna blow it out of the park. He's gonna slide to his way to the top. I oh, know. I think it's between. I think Abdul and Cola are starts, and Dante, you have a chance. I have well, a chance, but yes. that depends on my race against Christian, and I'm hoping to do a meme run. I reckon. Yeah. You, I reckon you'll have a crash crash one. Uh, we are doing crash boom bang. Hopefully, oh, crash boom bang. Sorry, oh, man. Nice. Like, uh... <laughs> So that could completely throw everything under the bus, but who knows? Yeah, well, this group is actually pretty damn good from what I remember. Like, I mean, Abdul was already, like, well, he beat all the developer times in Nitro Fuel, didn't he? He did, I'm pretty yeah. sure. And actually, in the, stream, uh, in the stream you against him, you actually didn't lose to him by that much from what I remember. Yes, it was because I failed on one of the shortcuts several times. Yeah, yeah, it was Polar Pass, wasn't <laughs> it? Yeah. It was Polar Pass. See, there we go. See... And if it wasn't for that, you could have even been Abdul Danta. So I think you've got a really good chance as well. Exactly. But it all comes down to Christian. Will he yeah. let us win? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, yeah. <laughs> Will he decide to be the king of Crash instead of the king of Europe? That is the real question. Uh, Caitlin, do you have anything to add? Um, I mean, I, I very much enjoyed your race against um, Doc, Dr. Monkey Man. I thought that was very, very close. Yes, that was a very close race. It, it definitely, it just shows that, like, you know, it's actually quite competitive in that group. Oh, yeah, definitely a competitive group. That's, quite a few of these groups are competitive, to be fair, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a well-balanced uh, group, groups. Well, Abdul is a runner in that group, so it's pretty much easy to assume what is going to happen, because obviously, uh, seeing that is pretty good at CTI, you know, especially in Nitro Field, so... I just want to say it's also great to have Abdul in the tournament as well. Like he's he's a really cool guy. Yeah, he seems it. Yeah, he seems to put some like good videos out on Twitter and stuff. So, yeah, Abdul competed in the first Wumper Classic Championship and has not made an appearance since, I believe. So, it's oh, nice yeah. to bring him back. To be very in the final as well. Uh, no, or the he made it to the semi-finals. I think he made it to the semi-finals, Ooh. being eliminated by Cola Pro. Because I believe they did a rematch to determine who would get the semi-final uh, to get the final spot after someone dropped out. Oh um, yeah, I remember? Oh, it's all coming back. But oh. here's a, here's a nice way to segue onwards. Round two predictions. Who do you guys think will make it into round two as the top tier spot? Oh, uh, top one, top one. Toto, I think, to win the group. Uh, Abdul to win the group, or call that. Marcus to win the group. Marcus, Lucas, Lo Lucas to win his group. Give him a good no, Verso first and then Lucas second. I'd, I'm just going to say that I've got safe bets on uh, on Abdul and Toto. Yeah, my predictions would be Toto and Abdul will probably get in first place in their groups. Mm. Yeah, I'd, I'd say safe bets on that, yeah, absolutely. I would say every other group, it is going to be very competitive as to who will get their top spot. It's hard to know, because you can pick up in skill, like, easy enough, so... It really depends how it get, how it goes. Like you know, you you know yourself. Anything can happen. I think there will be a few shocks though soon enough. Soon enough. Johan, I think will be is one to watch too. Like from from Group A, I'd say the most likely to go through would be Toto, Crash, and Dark Lizard. 
from group B, the most likely is going to be a competitive one. But I can see Ratchet, possibly Graveyard Magician. And it's tough to say about Haytam 14 because we don't yeah. really know the skill level. Exactly, mm. yeah. You don't know all these people. Like, I don't think they did, I don't sure. Did you do a tier uh, try out for the tier system at all? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe anyone who was in reserve posted a seed time. So someone entirely yeah. new could, could in fact completely throw throw the whole group off track. Mm. I hope so. Dramatic. Quite, quite a plot twist, wouldn't it? <laughs> a very big plot twist. Like a last minute one too, so be, that can make it like even more exciting and interesting. Yes. Will they be the spoiler of Group B? Find out in mm. due time. It's hard to know. Like, I think it's very early to the side, but I think the safe bets are Toto, Abdo, yeah. Cola, uh, Averso, Lucas, Marcus. Well, I'm sure in a week's time, we'll probably know for more for certain what the group standings went up as, though. Ooh. I think the gangster will make it through. I think the gangster definitely has a good shot, actually, yeah. It was very close with him and Lucas. So, moving on. Uh, most exciting race or best race in anyone, everyone's opinions? I did like your CTR race data. Oh, thank you. That was yeah, a very like close one. race. Yeah, I like Lucas, that one was good. Lucas as well was fun. Lucas's match was fun to watch with the gangster. Uh, I not really watch them in foot, you know, like the commentary and stuff like that. So I can't really say much in terms of that. But uh, the differences, like at the end of each like race, for example, seems to be quite wide apart, more so than in Biro. So that definitely adds to all the matches. But I can't exactly say of a match that's really that different you know that exciting i know so. i mean there's only 10 races so far done so yeah that'll probably come out later on i can't wait for the uha match to go up today uh, it's like a gamer and brandon black they've also been really uh, runners to watch oh yeah definitely which actually brings us to a nice segue to the final point thoughts going forward and any any matches you're looking forward to seeing i'm um... looking for, i'm looking forward to seeing Kiefer, uh christian um more Abdo, more Cola, Marcus, Lucas, everyone, everyone really. I'm looking, f- I am especially looking forward to seeing the uh, race between Caitlin and Psychic Gamer. Uh, would you like to tell us more about that one, Caitlin? Um, yeah, so I don't know if we've hammered down the exact rules of it yet, but the core um, thing of it is um, you can't drink while driving. And we <laughs> need to finish our drink by the end of a race. So you have to be stationary while you're drinking, which is, I, I don't know how we're going to make it work, but I think we just want to get pissed. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just a no drink driving race. Which will be amazing to watch. We're going to have to put webcams on so that people can see that we're drinking, which is... <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> If if GRE taught us anything, it's that uh, people getting drunk in speed runs is actually really funny. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. We're we're both pretty lightweight, so it's gonna mm-hmm. be a bit of a mess. <laughs> Another race I'm looking forward to seeing is uh, James Jones versus Fromond. Oh, same here. I have not watched that yet, but it has gone up on Twitch, and yeah. I'm excited to see it. I had to like go to dinner, so I missed it. To be honest, I'm just looking forward more to seeing more kind of Abdul, really. Okay. Just because I, re- I really like how far he plays Nitro Field. And that he's very skilled at it, so. Oh, you yeah, know, he's definitely really skilled. It was a mistake mm. on my part to race him, but I just wanted to race Nitro Field. <laughs> <laughs> at least you could say you did it, like. Yeah, I can say that I yeah. did it. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I found out he'd done the uh, developer times, I was like, well, I'm dead. Yeah, I remember I actually messaged you afterwards saying, man, why did you ask to race him in Nitro Field? Like, even I know who that guy was. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I just said I wanted to do I wanted to do nitro fuel with someone, and he was the first to respond. Um, he should have been like, "Who wants to do nitro fuel? Barry, Barry, you. Who wants to do nitro fuel? Me, not you." <laughs> <laughs> you probably got like an alert, so each time he sees like nitro fuel at NF in the group chat, his phone just goes <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to program a bot to do that. Uh, Marcus? I'd say pretty much the same as Smudger. You know, like the Abdul races, if anybody can actually beat him, that'd be actually very interesting to see. So yeah, I'd look forward to that. Maybe Toto races as well. Uh, I know Ratchet 5 beats a lot of races too, so maybe we might see that. Uh, I think that about covers everything for the first Wampacast. So, 
not too much to talk about, all things considered, because we are still technically early, early days in the tournament. Only a quarter of round one has been done. Uh, but we will be back, possibly towards the end of round one, or possibly after round one, to talk more about more talk more about the stand-ins and where we think round two and the rest of the tournament will go. Thank you all for joining me on this cast today. Absolutely. And, uh, Thank you. <laughs> hope you all join me next time. See you all later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. Collect, collect that wampa fruit.